In 2009, a mysterious email emerged, unveiling the cryptic prophecy of Bitcoin's creator, Satoshi Nakamoto. With a market cap surpassing $1 trillion, Nakamoto's Bitcoin has become an undeniable component of modern finance. Now let's look back on his foresight and one of his predictions for Bitcoin. It's not about its price, but its energy consumption, which would be an intense debate and will ultimately determine the survival of Bitcoin. Is it going to be one of history's most astonishing digital prophecies? Let's find out together. A mysterious figure pops up out of nowhere in 2008 and drops the bombshell that is Bitcoin onto the world stage. Some say Satoshi Nakamoto is a lone genius, typing away in a secret underground bunker, while others think it's a covert team of tech wizards pulling the strings from the shadows. It's like a real-life game of Clue, but instead of Colonel Mustard in the library with a candlestick, we've got Satoshi Nakamoto in cyberspace with a computer. From Elon Musk to your next-door neighbor, everyone's got a theory about who Satoshi really is. Is it an alien from outer space? A time-traveling wizard? Or maybe just your average Joe with a knack for coding? Of course, nobody knows for sure, but join us, folks. Let's embark on a wild ride through the predictions Satoshi Nakamoto made about the future and energy use of their crypto asset, Bitcoin, way back in 2009. In one of his emails unearthed by early Bitcoin developer Marty Sirius Malmi, Satoshi waxes poetic about how much energy Bitcoin would consume. And what did he say? He actually stated that Bitcoin would be an energy-hungry beast. Of course, we know today that this is true. But just before we delve into what he predicted about how Bitcoin's energy consumption in comparison to conversational banking, let's confirm just how much energy is needed for our day-to-day -day Bitcoin usage. Bitcoin often finds itself under the harsh glare of criticism for its energy-guzzling ways. But is it really the energy hog it's made out to be? Let's break it down. First off, Bitcoin wears its energy usage like a badge of honor flaunting its transparency for all to see. Unlike traditional industries that keep their energy footprints shrouded in mystery, Bitcoin lays it all out there for the world to scrutinize. Now let's talk Turkey. Where does Bitcoin's energy go? Well, it's a three-pronged attack. Nodes, pools, and mining machines. But wait for it. Almost all of Bitcoin's energy guzzling, a whopping 99.8%, comes from those mighty mining machines, aka ASICs. These bad boys are the backbone of Bitcoin's proof-of-work POW system, churning away to validate transactions and secure the network. Now, here's the plot twist. That energy-guzzling POW mechanism is the secret sauce that makes Bitcoin the fortress of security it is today. You see, POW ties Bitcoin's virtual world to the physical realm, ensuring that every transaction is backed by real-world energy expenditure. Just to let you know, the actual energy the Bitcoin network consumes is an estimated 113.89 terawatt-hour per year in total energy consumption, as stated by a 2021 report from Galaxy Digital. So, we are left in a dilemma. Bitcoin may be a power-hungry beast, but it's that very energy consumption that makes it the unstoppable force it is today. Love it or hate it, you can't deny that Bitcoin's energy-guzzling ways are what make it the king of the crypto castle. Bitcoin's energy appetite has become the bullseye for naysayers arrows. Yet, when we talk about Bitcoin chowing down on energy, what exactly are we comparing it to? Simply put, it is being compared to regular banks for stuff like paying, saving, and handling money in gold because it's seen as valuable and isn't controlled by any government. Before we explore if Bitcoin uses more energy than regular banking in gold, let's first see what Satoshi foresaw while comparing the energy use of Bitcoin to traditional banking in the years to come. Satoshi assures us that even if Bitcoin devours more energy than a power-hungry dragon, it's still a lean, mean banking replacing machine. In fact, Satoshi claims Bitcoin's energy consumption would be peanuts compared to the resource-guzzling antics of traditional banking. Talk about putting things into perspective, huh? But did that turn out to be true? Now fast forward to 2021 and enter Galaxy Digital with a blockbuster report that sends shockwaves through the crypto sphere. Here on the Incorruptible Money Education channel, we simplify the intricate world of cryptocurrencies, offering trustworthy updates and extensive crypto literacy. Our mission is to guide you through the nuances of cryptocurrency investment, blockchain technology, and informed decision-making in the digital currency space. If your aim is to achieve financial independence and confidence within the crypto market and to comprehend its rapidly evolving landscape with insight and foresight, then click the subscription button and turn on your notification bell to become part of this community of crypto enthusiasts. Digging into the nitty-gritty of gold's energy consumption, let's see how it stacks up against Bitcoins. According to Galaxy Digital's report, which tapped into the World Gold Council's insights, the gold industry is a heavyweight when it comes to carbon emissions. 
Now, I don't want to bore you with all the process, but the report reveals that the total annual greenhouse gas emissions for all activities involving gold is a whopping 126,359,123 tons of CO2. That amount of carbon dioxide is estimated to amount to 240.61 terawatt hour per year of energy. Do you remember how much energy is estimated for Bitcoin? Let me remind you, it's approximately 113.89 terawatt hour per year. So while Bitcoin may be hogging the limelight for its energy intensive proof of work mechanism, it looks like gold isn't exactly sitting pretty in the eco-friendly department either. And how about comparing it to the banking system's energy use? Unlike your friendly neighborhood electric company, the banking system prefers to keep its energy usage under wraps, leaving us with more questions than answers. But using data from the Bank of America, the only bank that provides data on their energy consumption, we can estimate. With 23 private data centers under its belt, Bank of America gives us a tantalizing glimpse into the energy-hungry world of banking data centers. The estimation was based on an assumption that each data center sprawls across 75,000 square feet and uses 400 watts per square foot. Using a nifty linear relationship trick, it was estimated that the top 100 global banks collectively slurp up a jaw-dropping 238.92 terawatt hours of electricity per year, with the estimated energy consumption of bank branches to be 19.71 terawatt hour per year. Estimated global annual electricity consumption of ATMs is 3.09 terawatt hour per year, and estimated global annual electricity consumption required for all card networks, including Visa to operate is 2 terawatt hour per year. So what's the verdict? While Bitcoin may hog the spotlight for its energy intensive antics, the banking behemoths may actually be quietly chomping away at the power grid in the background. And Bitcoin even outshines gold mining in the energy efficiency department. Satoshi himself would probably chuckle at the thought of having to choose between economic freedom and saving Mother Earth. What do you think? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section. In conclusion, Satoshi Nakamoto's prescient insights from 2009 shed light on the contentious future and energy use of cryptocurrencies, offering a glimpse into the genius behind Bitcoin's creation. And it's worth noting that traditional banking systems consume roughly twice as much energy as Bitcoin, and the same goes for gold. This puts into perspective the energy debate surrounding cryptocurrencies and highlights the potential for Bitcoin to be a more energy efficient alternative to traditional financial systems. But what else lies ahead for Bitcoin? Dive deeper into the world of cryptocurrency with our next video, where we uncover why Reddit is holding onto Bitcoin while filing for its IPO. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of Bitcoin and stay ahead of the curve in the world of cryptocurrency. See you in the next video.